Hello YouTube. So my last video you saw two microwave oven transformers directly on mains, short circuiting, making pretty impressive sparks. Which is cool, but unfortunately in this way they get really hot and I nearly burnt out two of the, of those. And that sucks. But recently I came across a cool channel where someone uh, made a resonant circuit with those. Which means there are capacitors in series with the secondary coil. So if you short circuit them with the capacitor in series, it starts to resonate inside. And apparently that makes everything more efficient. So you get bigger sparks, more voltage, and everything more efficient so the transformers don't get that hot. So I thought it's a pretty good idea, and I tried to make my own resonant circuit. So what do you see here? Those two microwave oven transformers are in series connected to mains in parallel, so I get about 4000 volts out of those. The third transformer is a ballast, so it's in series in the secondary, and the primary is just short-circuited. Also in series are those capacitors, which are about 500 nanofarads in this PVC pipe, because I'm just waiting for them to blow up, which they will, apparently, maybe in this video. I hope not. Yeah, this lead just goes to my little electrode to make sparks. So the idea is to tune the whole thing to run at 50 Hz. So I connected everything in parallel and made a little impulse on the capacitors with a 9 volt battery and measured the response I got with my scope. Which you can see here. Okay, it focused, there we go. That's just the ring or the oscillation I get when I give a short impulse with 9 volt battery and it's about 50 hertz more or less so I guess that should work and let's see if it makes a difference so for the first test I will disconnect the capacitors and yes they are discharged otherwise I would not be touching them there we go so we just have those two transformers in series also in series with this ballast Alright, let's see how big the spark is when I do that. Fortunately I have no tripod, so I just have to balance this here, so it doesn't fall down. Get it focused. Alright. Switch it on here. Okay. Now, without the resonance circuit. Which looks okay. Switch this off. Switch this off. And now I'm going to connect the capacitors. There we go. Okay, switch it back on. Let's hope the capacitors don't explode. Please don't explode. Okay, now with the resonance circuit. Oh my. <laughs> yes, resonating circuits make everything more fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks capacitors for not blowing up this time.